I'm back. And for those of you who don't know, you have to use the new Google Doc format to get your patterns added. So in this doc, they give you two links. You're going to click the first one, which is going to be the resizing one. And now you can just follow along and you can say unpack multi-image files so that you can put a lot of them in there at once. Okay, so I did mess up the first time that I was trying to show this, so I'm going to be redoing it really fast because I accidentally, um, you know, selected the same thing twice, which is why I went to go check there. So yeah, we're going to be using this to resize it to 420, you know, frames, like in width and height, because that's the specifications that we are given. You can just hold in on the images that you want to select and boom. So now we're moving on. You're going to say the exact dimensions and so what happens when you delete the one is that it completely just d redoes the 1080 so just put the 420 before the one and then just delete the one afterwards the quality should stay about the same i think 92 is the highest quality that it can go and now you are just going to say process batch and then you're going to say download all and now you're going to say download at the bottom of your screen. You're going to click open after it is downloaded and you're going to click extract. So I clicked extract and now we have the images. Awesome. Now we're going to go to the other link, the second link in the dock, which is going to help us. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to go to the next link, which is going to be the compressor. So we're going to compress the size of the image so it doesn't take as much, you know, megabytes or storage, you know? Now it will be compressing it and now you can just click download all at the bottom of the screen. So yeah, there we go. You can click download all and then it should download. And then once again, you're gonna click open at the bottom of your screen and at, in the bottom right corner or left, it should say extract, you do it again. And now we're gonna head on to the Roblox website. If you're on mobile, I don't really exactly know how to do this without having a group. I use my group to upload these because apparently you have to have Roblox Studio to do it just on your normal account, which I don't have since I am on mobile at the moment and I can't exactly get it on PC. I don't know how it works, but I know how to do it on a group, which is the easiest way. If you don't have a group, I'm so sorry. This is the only way that I know. If anyone knows how to do it individually without Roblox Studio, you can please comment so that you can help the people who don't have groups. Now, after you click, you know, manage or create group items, you just go to decals and now you can say choose file and you can choose the image. You can rename it to whatever you want. I would be careful though because I made a pattern of Vianti's Midnight Pop Star Strike, like heels, you know, and it got me a strike, like a warning that if I did that again, my account would be terminated. And yeah, the problem with this is you can't really remove any decals. You can't exactly ever edit the image again. So I just had to archive that pattern, but yeah. So this is all you do. You go to the settings button, configure, then you turn on allow copying. This is going to allow for Kate Ka to be able to get this to her inventory so that it can be uploaded to the game. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. It really doesn't matter. And then after this, all you have to do is you can go back to the settings thing. You can click go to details, which I'm speaking ahead of time now, but you can just go to details and then you can copy the link at the top. So in the Google Docs file, after you have compressed everything, your decals have been uploaded, they have been set to allow for copying, and then all you have to do is go to details and quickly go copy that link. So when you get back, you go back to the Google Doc, which Kate made, where you submit. If you scroll down, like after all the links and such, you have a section where you can answer. So all you have to do is put credit names and then put your name there, and then you can add up all the links of all the decals that you have put on. You have to upload these decals. You can still use it and you have to mention that you did compress them. And yeah, that is how you submit all of your hard work. Best of luck, guys. If you guys know how to do it without a group, please comment or make a video. If you have a video, link it down below. 
please, because I'm trying to help out all the other pattern creators, but for me, it's really hard. 